Alrighty, so I wanted to use a tier team, and uh, once again, I know I've said this at the beginning of both of the videos so far that I've already made, but uh, the scores are different on Global. So originally, uh, I was going to look at another Nagato uh, team, and it was going to be Green Freya with Infect Merlin, uh, the Lolly Merlin. Um, on JP, she had a score of 500. On Global, she's at almost 1,000. So I don't know if it's taking into account some of JP's usage or something, because no one is using this unit, unless it's like some weird top 100 thing that I'm not aware of, but I never see uh, Lolly Merlin in the meta. So it's really bizarre that some of these characters are just vastly different. Um, so we're gonna be using something like this, I guess. A um, little bit of Ragnarok stuff going on here. I was gonna use the green Freya, so that way they would have to target her, which, is probably going to be a pretty vital point of this. Um, I think actually we'll we'll swap out to Ghislaine instead because I think that's basically the idea behind the team. But uh, actually, I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to also throw Tarmia Link on Ghislaine instead because she's really tanky. So let me do that. Um, I don't really want to use Summer Merlin to be honest with you, but at the end of the day, um, I think that if I'm, I mean, I, I literally can't. I can't put on the small Merlin. It's just she's she costs too much. So uh, I don't know. And Nanashi has a score of three thousand. So you're not gonna be able to use like the really big stat buffer teams. Um, so definitely interested to see how this goes. All of the infect units for the unknown team are just really expensive. Like I would have to I would have to put something way less usable on uh, than Galane just to be able to put Merlin on, which could actually be okay. It could not be like that terrible. Uh, and I still may try that sometime in the near future, but um, that's that's where we're at so far. I'm going to use evasion food. We're going to hop in. We're going to see how things go with tier. Alrighty, we have an Escanor team first, which I think is okay. Um, these Escanor teams are actually pretty strong. Um... Using Red Arthur is pretty interesting. He'll have to attack Ghislaine with um, with Escanor, which is actually pretty good for me. And I've got attack seal ability, uh, if that is even a word. So he's going for Ult Rush here. Um, I should be able to reset him a little bit this turn. And then we can maybe try to get some damage out on him. So let's just go for something like this. Uh, it's very possible he has Tarmiel Link on his Escanor, but it looks like it's actually on his Keo. So we're just gonna get some damage off. We have the uh, the stack or the the mark on Escanor, so we'll do a little bit of extra damage with Galane. Realistically, I think the thing with a lot of these teams is that most units that have high scores. Um, are not gonna have good teammates. So, oh, that's unfortunate. I forgot it's at the end of his turn. So he's still gonna be able to ult rush here, which uh, is completely fair. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that <laughs> taunt. And then let's go for the kill on Escanor here. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like a weird one-way street where there's one unit on the team that's doing just a ton of damage and if you get rid of them you're basically good to go and then the rest of the team is really bad luckily with a team like this that i'm using Ghislaine is pretty beefy and tier is also really beefy so the fact that i can actually run those two characters together is really nice actually so this might end up being like a really good team i'm i would really like to swap the merlin out if i'm being honest but i mean she's got good utility either way Alrighty, we have a demon team, which is completely understandable. Luckily, I actually go second, so that's actually good for me. Um, here's hoping, I guess, he'll do some damage to tier, but realistically, the way that everybody's playing this team is just, just using cards with these two characters and then uh, just keeping your demon king cards for whenever you pop your um, stats, so probably not going to work out too well. The fact that he didn't stance there, mega bizarre. I got to be honest with you. Um, let's just try to get as much damage out on Demon King as possible. It's her passive that actually does the damage, so let's go for something like this just to get some damage off. We don't have an infect unit on this team. So we do have to worry about that a little bit. The Flood card might deal okay damage. Um, and then this will do some... This actually does a damage cap, actually. So hopefully, if he does any damage to tier here, the AoE will go crazy. Um, it It's going to be a toss-up, though. We do get another Ghislaine single target. or She has two single targets. We, we get another Ghislaine Pierce card, which is good. Um, 
He's putting up the stance though, which is gonna be really tough to get through. Um, okay, doing a little bit of damage to Tyr, not, not ideal. And we're gonna have to end up getting through a lot here. So um, no debuff on him either is really bad. This actually might might screw me over. Um, uh, at this point, I really don't know what my best bet is. We're gonna go for this though, because it's basically all I can do. Okay, full counters me. Uh, okay, we kill here. No, we don't. No, it's so close. Well, we kill off the Esterosa. That's unfortunate. I, sh I guess I should have just attacked into Esterosa a little bit more turn one. I don't know if that is 50% or not. It More than likely, it would have been like me hitting, uh, hitting him with that one card and then just doing just barely not enough because of the damage cap. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I can imagine that's how things might have went. Um... Esterosa actually a pretty good pretty good unit for this just because like the debuff immunity is really nice against the tier um, he's going all single targets here as well which is really unfortunate um, does he have a third single target <laughs> no way okay well that's uh that's literally GG the the demon team obviously super broken still uh, you'll the fact that I can't use an infect unit on this team because they're too expensive is what's killing me here unfortunately uh, I could have played that a little bit differently though so as I get used to you know these teams and stuff like that I might be able to do some better stuff but either way alrighty we have another tier team here which is uh, pretty interesting he goes first which I think is kind of good for me so that way he's he's the one with pressure on him to attack um, if he uses the single target with Brunhill that goes on to Ghislaine, so that's also a little bit interesting. Luckily, he doesn't have like a way to cleanse or anything, so I can actually still do damage to Tyr and attack seal him, and I won't have to worry about the repercussions of him absolutely dominating me, so that could be kind of nice. Uh, looks like he's going to attack into me anyway. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a lot. That was a lot, a lot. Okay. I think he checked. I think he knew that I had, uh, yikes. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, okay, okay. Mm, I'm, the only reason I didn't put Tarmiel Link on him is because if he, it would have worked in this scenario, but he was able to do a lot of damage there turn one. Uh, let's go for something like this. We'll just get some damage off. We'll attack seal him. He's all attack with this team, so it's not going to matter too much if, um, you know, like if he if he gets attack sealed, he's basically just screwed for a whole turn. I it's gonna rely on card draw here if I can do it again. I okay, I can do it again. I'm gonna feel really bad for it. This is gonna be so bad. He's gonna be upset with me. Um, he might ult rush with yeah tier here. Not a hundred percent sure if I can kill tier this turn. Um, yikes. Let's. I could. I could go for the stun on him, but then I'll have to take hits from the other units. So let's go for this, and then we can attack seal next turn if he doesn't kill my Merlin off. A little bit of damage there. We're gonna disable my um, my Rom here, but it's it should be okay. It shouldn't be like the worst thing in the world. Uh, Freya could still end up doing some really good damage to me, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Um. Okay, Galen card's good. Level. We could go for the level 3 Flood. I don't know if that's, like, the right play. But we actually might be able to... We, we could do that and hopefully kill. But I think he's going to try to kill my Merlin off here, if I had to guess. So, yeah, that's a lot of damage. And then... Sorry, the dog is having a hard time today. Um, okay, so... We're in a rough spot here. <laughs> we're in a really rough spot here. Let's just go for... Ah, uh, I'm gonna get my ultimate either way if I use two cards. I think we go for double pierce card here. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Man, damn. Tier, still pretty crazy. Alrighty, we're gonna do one more here. We have an angel team, which is, uh... 
a little bit more interesting, I think. Um, he's also, well, he's got an AoE debuff card with Mayel, but we could potentially go for attack seal here. Because Margaret is so expensive, he's not going to be able to go for a, uh, a cleanse play or anything like that, so that's actually really good for me. Um, okay, popping evasion there, and then he's going to, okay, attack into the tier. It's a little bold. Um, I don't have, ooh, uh, does he kill me here? Oh, I forgot, yes, that's so good. Um, I don't actually stat lower him or anything, so, I mean, we will be able to get this off, and it'll do some good damage, I think, but it's not gonna kill by any means. I think we go ahead and attack seal, maybe, um... That way, he's also got the Dissolve on. We'll see how much damage we life steal back from this. Still still good damage. That was very respectable damage. So there's the Dissolve. There's the single target. He, he has... Uh, oh, it's the Tarmiel buff and then the, the AoE with Mael in hand here. So looking pretty interesting. We got a good amount of health back. And he's actually going to go ahead and throw the attack with Mael out. So we might be able to go ahead and use the AoE again with Tarmiel and still do a really good amount of damage. So, uh, ooh, he's back to full health, which is not good. But, honestly, we might be able to go for a play to kill off the other angels and then Mael will do a whole lot of nothing. Plus, we can get my ultimate here with Tear. So let's go for this play, maybe. Boom. And then we'll kill off Sariel. And then, I, I'm not 100% sold that this is going to kill, since we life-stealed back some health, but... Oh, and it also applied his uh, Holy Relic to me, actually, so I'm not going to be able to use my ultimate this turn. But, uh, that should be, hopefully, okay for the moment. One Goddess uh, on the team, besides Mael, he should start doing a lot less damage. He might be able to push for his ultimate here, though, and life-steal back to full HP, which is going to be quite bad um i don't know i think he may have still been able to pull that off i mean i did have some pretty good damage but i don't know he 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 maybe would have been in a decent position there because i couldn't use my ultimate i did have some tier cards in hand he could have just attacked somebody else other than tier so i wasn't doing as much damage i don't know that was kind of an interesting one but uh, that's the tier team I, I really wish that i had an infect on the team for the for the Demon Kings. I may try to mess around with that one a little bit. Maybe we'll get rid of Ghislaine and then try a Merlin, or the, the Lolly Merlin on there with some other, like, worse character. Uh, we'll, we'll try it out, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one.